hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Roxanne and on this channel I have all sorts of nail content demos hauls how to's you name it in this video I'm going to show you how I did a poly gel refill and a cute little nail design for my client if you're interested then please just keep watching hi my babies I hope you are having an amazing day and are all feeling well. So y'all, as you can tell, we have jumped in already. You guys, I apologize because my client and I, we just started talking right from when she sat down and I didn't even realize that I did not hit record. So you guys, this is the refill portion. Y'all saw that I just placed down that poly gel and now I'm just working it to make sure that it's giving the coverage that I need. And I'm going to smooth out the product just to make sure that there are very little lumps and bumps, little to no lumps and bumps. You guys know how I like to do my refill. Um, little to no lumps or bumps. And then we're gonna go ahead and move forward. Y'all, I apologize because you guys know I typically will give you a very detailed explanation step-by-step step of how I do my refills. But in this video, unfortunately, I just don't have the footage, y'all. So I apologize, but I will say, if you've seen my videos in the past, you guys will know I have a ton of refill videos, especially poly gel refill videos on my channel. So I'll try to remember to go ahead and link that either in the cards above or down in the description box. By the way, you guys, always be sure to check out my description box. Like I said, I leave content down there for you guys. I leave discount codes down there for you guys. I leave links to products that I use in videos down there for y'all. And I also try to leave you guys some other stuff. So always be sure to check out my description box. But yeah, y'all, so back to the nails. So as you guys can tell, the poly gel is now fully cured. So I've begun my finished filing. So I'm just taking my hand file, y'all, and I'm sharpening up the sides of the nail and the free edge, just making sure that it's the shape that she's going for. And then, of course, I will go over the top of the nail um, to make sure that the product is nice and smooth. And you guys, one thing I will say, when I am filing, I do like to give a little bit of tension to the sides of her finger. I like to pull that skin back just a little bit to make sure that I'm really getting to the sides of those nails. Um, that's just one little quick tip. So yeah, y'all. Um, another thing that I do when I am doing my hand filing or even filing at all sometimes um, is that I take the thumbnail um, or the thumb of the hand that I'm using to hold her hand and I dust the nail that I'm filing as I'm filing it. Um, the reason I do that, you guys, is because I want to be able to see the shape. And sometimes when you are working with poly gel, hard gel, sometimes even acrylic, there's so much dust from, you know, the filing portion, the filing part of it, that there's um, so much dust covering the shape of the nail and you can't fully see it. So I do like to go ahead and just take my thumb and just lightly brush that um brush that dust away so I can really, really look at the shape of the nail. It's been helping me a lot to not over file um, when I do my shaping. So I wanted to tell you guys that as well. I hope it made sense and I hope it helps someone. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna hush. I'm gonna let you guys watch me file these nails and I'll be back in two seconds. I'll hush. You watch. Breathe in some love. Let yourself You're so much deeper when you quit paying charades yeah. You act so cool but underneath you seem afraid There's something sweet about your eyes when you feel safe yeah. But you keep running away Oh, it to yourself today Just try to open up and show some Hey there, enjoying my content? Well, if you are and you haven't already, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel? It's free. You can leave me a like and also comment below and let me know what you want to see next. So 
so my babies of course off camera i went ahead and cleansed these nails now i'm just going in with this gorgeous red polish by dnd y'all know i do not remember the name of this gel polish but of course i will have it linked down in the description box below for y'all um so yeah y'all i am gonna go in i'm gonna add one coat um, to the nail and then allow it to cure for a full 60 seconds and then go in with a second layer And I am going to be doing this on both her ring finger and her thumbnail So I will go ahead and let you guys watch this and I'll be back in when it's time for the next step in this art process <laughs> I'll hush you watch So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like oh. so my babies, now that that red has been cured, I'm going in and I'm gonna do um just a little freestyle French on the remaining nails. So you guys, I actually left this um clip in real time because I wanted you guys to see how I do my French without using any of the techniques that you guys will find on Instagram probably. Um, but y'all, it's so easy to do French on short nails. You just have to take your time, you know? Um, it's all about how much product you put on to, well, two things, how much product you put onto your brush, your little striping brush, and how much pressure you are applying to the striping brush when you are applying your gel polish. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am using a very, very light hand and I'm just taking my time to carve out that little French um, line or design, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but once I like what it looks like, you guys, I will just do a final check and then go ahead and allow her to cure that for a full 60 seconds. Y'all know I do not play when it comes to gel polish. I don't do 15 second cures. I used to, but you guys, I promise you, some of these gel polishes, they have to have full cures in between. They can't do the little 15 second, 30 second. Um, and honestly, in my experience, D&D &D has just been one of those gel polish brands. I'd rather fully cure it than to not fully cure it and then have bubbles and all types of madness and mess. But yeah, that's little Roxy's rant for now, y'all. I'm gonna hush. I'm gonna let you guys watch how I apply this cute little French design. And I'll be back in, in a little bit. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day. But the night, we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same. Man. So to finish these little babies off, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cute little pearls. So of course to do that, I need to add bling gel to these nails. So you guys see I have my bling gel down on my table and I am using my gel brush to apply the bling gel to the entire nail. And then of course, without curing it, I am gonna go right over that bling gel with some top coat and apply that to the entire nail as well. And then of course, I'm not curing either of those and <laughs> I'm gonna go right over those with some pearls. Y'all, these pearls are so super cute. I got them from Amazon. I will definitely have them linked down below. They came with a set of like small to large white and then beautiful iridescent ones like small to large as well so yeah super super cute y'all um by the way y'all i haven't done a haul in a while is it time for another haul y'all let me know comment below and let me know where you guys want me to haul from or what you guys want to see me do next or anything like that y'all know i appreciate the feedback so anyway you guys i'm gonna go ahead and hush i'm gonna let you guys watch this part of the video and i'll be back in when it's time for the final look You're so much 
much deeper when you quit paying charades. Yeah. You act so cool, but underneath you seem afraid. There's something sweet about your eyes when you feel safe. Yeah. But you keep running away. Owe it to yourself today. Just try to open up and show someone you care. It might not be intentional, but you seem scared. Just try to open up. So of course I am topping these little babies off with some cuticle oil. Um, I want to say this is also a cuticle oil from Young Nails. I can't remember, but I believe it came in one of their kits. You guys, here is the final, final look of these nails. And I think they came out super, super cute. I love the little pearls. I think they look super classic and classy. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you think they're cute too. You guys, comment down below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Let me know what you want to see next. And tell a friend to tell a friend, baby, because I'm losing my voice. I'm working so hard. Y'all have no idea. I love y'all so much. Until next time.